We have such uh, fiscal constraints uh, as we have. Uh, we cannot expect that uh, in the coming years there will be huge sums of uh, public money into, say, cross uh, or linguistic uh, acrobatics. Uh, I must say that uh, I do not like uh, the word uh, austerity, but uh, I'm very much in favor of uh, the word uh, rigor. To those who are not familiar with uh, the proposal, especially since it's time limited. Time limited here means 20 to 25 years, which is a long time to go, but it's still time limited for it. The second uh, aspect that uh, uh, refers to yeah, the pain is a good chance that the refinancing cost of the fund are uh, lower than not what that, so those countries are experiencing, uh, experiencing in the moment. That's basically another resemblance to the idea of human bonds because this idea of pooling risks and therefore being more liquid and uh, enjoying lower refinancing costs is uh, the same. Here you see uh, the whole uh, animal operation. This is the redemption fund in our view if it's filled completely. And you see it's and I also believe that the prospect of establishing a common bond market in the medium term could send a, a very strong signal to markets, to markets that Europe puts an end uh, to the impossibility of sharing a common currency but preserving 17 different national economic policies, different, uh, 17 different national fiscal policies and also 17 different national bond markets. But uh, we will also have to offer, I think, an immediate solution to the uh, crisis. Um, because I'm still concerned that member states have not put any bold and promising proposals on the table yet. Let me underline the very basic uh, principle to which at least uh, I adhere to. And I trust, uh, I hope uh, you will agree with me. Any serious uh, move in the further sharing of uh, risk uh, would have to be balanced uh, by provisions uh, that ensure sustainable public finances uh, and uh, minimize uh, the moral hazard. Stability bonds, uh, euro bonds, uh, would thus uh, have to go in parallel, hand in hand, uh, by a substantially reinforced uh, fiscal surveillance uh, and uh, economic policy coordination as an essential counterpart uh, <laughs> of uh, pooling the risk uh, and uh, creating these uh, euro bonds. Ladies and gentlemen, the joint issuance of uh, member states' uh, debt uh, would uh, fundamentally alter the structure of uh, European financial markets. The potential advantages uh, seem clear and uh, large. Joint bonds uh, would act as a driver of uh, integration and efficiency of uh, European bond markets. They could lower transaction costs uh, and uh, the cost of uh, government uh, borrowing. Stability bonds uh, would strengthen financial stability by allowing member states uh, a secure and uh, stable access uh, to refinancing and uh, lower debt servicing costs uh, would give member states uh, the time and uh, the necessary breathing space uh, for economic reform and uh, fiscal consolidation. Uh, the critics of this proposal would always argue, well, you take the debt amount over 60%, transfer it to the fund, and if you start then negotiating and trying whether all participants are really adhering to the promises that they make, that's too late, then the damage is done and you can't uh, 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 yeah, reverse the whole, uh, the whole process. That's we, something we would like to try to prevent by having four or five years of a roll-in where the next refinancing years for the countries in question are uh, uh, organized via the fund uh, until the now at the time being fixed amount of uh, transferable funds is, is met. And uh, of course this means that in, these, in the meantime, within the next four or five years, the illiquidity, illiquidity issues that we are currently facing, that for example are discussed in the context of Italy or Spain or other countries, would be out of the question because it would be uh, refinancing via the fund which should uh, uh, allow uh, low refinancing rates to be realized. And that did not change, I think, which is a matter of yesterday in Berlin. 
And this brings me immediately to our uh, first speakers, Professor Christoph Schmidt and Mr. Benjamin Weiger from the German Council of Economic Experts. So welcome, first of all. You will present to us your proposal, and it uh, was first tackled uh, by massive uh, fiscal stimulus. Together with uh, major monetary easing, it managed uh, to prevent uh, a replay of the 1930s. Uh, however, the stimulus also increased uh, fiscal deficits, uh, and uh, as the state of uh, public finances uh, was vulnerable in uh, several member states, uh, and as the collapse of uh, activity drastically reduced uh, tax revenues uh, that could not benefit uh, from a possible, possibly higher credit quality of uh, other member states. Uh, Moreover, interest and therefore uh, also strengthens uh, the fiscal discipline in Europe and at, at the same time prepares the ground for uh, establishing a dual challenge. Uh, on the one hand, uh, Euro area member states uh, need to speed up uh, structural reforms uh, to live up to the requirements of uh, sharing a common currency. 